The mayor of Surfside wants to create a permanent memorial to the victims of last summer's condo collapse. And that's not all he's planning to do to honor them. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live to explain. Christina. All of that to be discussed at a special meeting he called for tonight at 6. But one particular area of focus, he says, is ensuring that victim family members have a seat at the planning table. The family members of the victims, they need to be at the forefront of these decisions. So that's really what we're focused on. Shlomo Danzinger, Surfside's newly elected mayor, showing us an idea for temporary memorial signage. He envisions it along this portion of mesh fencing at the Champlain Towers South site. This is kind of a burial site. To be discussed during tonight's special commission meeting, where they will also explore creating new committees to plan a one year anniversary event and review proposals to create a memorial at or near the site. It is going to be private property. Um, you know, we can't demand anything. Hopefully we can work with the new buyer. In the Jewish law, every year when the anniversary of a person's passing goes, it's an event. There's a spiritual aspect. We need physical elements that help us bridge between our emotions and reality. So that's what a monument is. That's why it's so important. The mayor and Rabbi Shalom Lipskar. The time that there was a holy pile we had Rabbis there 24 7. Meeting with Chaplain Tower South survivors today. It's very nice to know that we are not forgotten. The Shula Ball Harbor Global Empowerment Mission and EZS events providing each with a voucher to help cover a month's rent. We still have our bills to pay, plus the rental, plus mortgage, so everybody is very tight. The event comes just one day before the judge presiding over Champlain Tower South collapse litigation will hear from all sides about an allocation agreement filed with the court between those who have a property claim and those who have a wrongful death injury claim. We need to buy a new home and the, the market now is crazy. Survivors Daniela Silva and Oren Citron bomb still reeling financially, worry the amount allocated won't cover what is needed to buy a new home. The agreement is lower than what we believe fair market value is. And ahead of tomorrow's hearing, you can read through that agreement in full on our website. That's local10.com. Reporting live for you tonight in Surfside, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.